Namaste. Hi everybody and welcome to the final meditation on our 21 days of light challenge. Well done. Brilliant. You managed to get here um, and even if you missed a few, well done. You know, well done for doing what you've done. Brilliant. So this meditation is really a culmination of some of the meditations we've done over the last three weeks. So I'm going to use a guided meditation and um, yeah, just to bring yourself really, we're going to take the awareness from the physical body and we're into the energetic layers or the energetic sheaths of the body. We'll do some visualization and um, yeah, just enjoy this. You might even want to lie down for this one if you, if you liked it. We're really um, interested to know how you've got on. So if you have a chance to let me know, that would be great. And um, yeah, we will crack on with our final meditation. So please make yourselves comfortable. If you're sitting up, then you know, make sure that your spine is nice and straight. Closing the eyes. And we'll begin. So first of all, I'd like you just to play back your day. Play back your day in your mind. Starting from when you got up. All the way up to lunchtime and then through the day till the evening. And as you're doing this, if there's a, a particular thing that stands out, maybe just pause there for a moment. So if it's like watching a film back, just freeze frame for a moment. Notice what that brings up in your body. Positive, negative reaction. Just notice. And then once you've gone through your day, I'd like you, as we have been for all of these meditations, just to find three things that you've been grateful for this day. Either say them out loud or say them in your mind. All right, good. So we're going to scan the body rather like we did with the Vipassana meditation. So taking your attention to the crown of the head, you're just scanning the body to observe and notice any sensations in the physical body. So starting at the crown, moving down to the forehead, the back of the head, and down to the face and the neck. You're looking for anything, anything that is uncomfortable, any feeling like hair just tapping against the face, like air on the skin.
sensation of swallowing perhaps, the sensation of your eyes moving. So just following your attention down, so down the body, down the shoulders, remember the back and the front of the body, the arms, taking in the chest, the belly, the back, down to the hips. Sensations that might tickle, that might itch. Might be wavy, pulsing. They might be quite gross, as in quite uh, strong sensations, or they might be very light sensations. Moving down from the legs, the knees, the calves, the feet, taking it all in. And once you've come down, once you come all the way down, scanning the body, you're going to go back up. Once you reach the top, we're going to go back down again. And you're just going to continue until I speak again and we continue on with the meditation. But for now, scanning the body from top of head down to the toes and then back up, looking for sensation. If you see a very or feel a very strong sensation, stay there a while and see if it changes. I'll do it with you. And then when you next come up to the top of the head, you're going to cease that part of the practice and bring your attention onto the flow of the breath, the inhale and the exhale, the natural rising and the natural falling. being a witness to your breath.
And then I'd like you to just spend a moment noticing how is this body? So having scanned it a few times, how is this body? Does it feel light and energized? Or does it feel heavy and sluggish? Does it feel erect? Or does it feel slumped? And what accompanies that? And again, we're watching, we're witnessing, we're observing without becoming intertwined with the emotional aspect, the feelings, but what is the feeling? What, how am I feeling? Am I feeling a bit heavy, mirrored by the heaviness in my body? Am I feeling alert? Does it match up? Does my physical general sensation match up to my emotional experience at this moment? How am I? Does it feel quite difficult to occupy this body at the moment? Does it feel like I want to float away in this meditative cloud? Is it difficult to find the words in my mind? How does it feel? And then back to the breath. Let that go, come back to the breath. Rising on the inhale, falling on the exhale.
Now I'd like you to start to become aware of any sounds. Any sounds, first of all, close to you in the room you're in. Any creaks, any clocks. Anything that may just come out, come up for a moment. And then disappear again. So just being aware of those little sounds. And then start to take in the sounds from outside the room. So that might be from the next room, from above you, from below you. And of course from outside you could be aware of trees and the breeze, of birds singing, of traffic, of sounds talking, music. Just taking it in, allowing your consciousness just to to be with those experiences, with those sounds, letting your consciousness circulate around the space. So it's like you're no li longer limited or confined to your physical body. And allow yourself to sit with one noise for a while and investigate that noise, really listen. If it was music, listen to a particular instrument, really listen. Listen to the tempo, listen to the rhythm, listen to the volume, listen to the notes that make up that particular phrase. If it was bird song, really listen to what is that tune. If it's traffic, listen to the traffic. And you can allow your attention to sit there for a while and then move it on to something. When something cuts into it, move it over to that next thing. Your mind wanders, remind it, you're listening, you're really listening.
now finding a particular sound, perhaps it's the one that you're focusing on this moment. And you're going to use that sound as a vehicle, a mode of transport. So you allow that sound to take you. to slip through to a different dimension and in a moment the dimension that you will arrive at is one of imagination and creativity, a dreamlike dimension where you can imagine anything you want. So you travel on the sound and you come to a doorway and that doorway can look however you like. Imagine you're like a, a kid again. Draw the best doorway in your mind the biggest or the brightest, the boldest, with the most detail on it. And then you're going to open the doorway, open the door and you're going to go through the door. And when you open that door and you step through into this portal of your imagination, you are welcomed with the most beautiful sight. And there's a building. And there's a scenery. And there's an amazing sky. And the building is magical. So that building could look like a temple or a castle, be a tiny cottage. It's up to you and your imagination to create an amazing building. There are no limits. And the building is in front of you. The sky is above you, but it could even be below you. The stars could be brightly sparkling on a purple sky. The rivers could flow from above to below. The flowers could grow from the sky down. This place is full of your own imaginings and creativity and is beautiful. And you see somebody coming towards you now and they're laughing in a beautiful way. The sound of their laugh is so appealing to you. And they're hurtling towards you, bouncing and bounding. And this could be person that you're familiar with or it could be a being who looks completely different to you. It could be a being which is slightly animal. It could be any colour. It could have fur. It could have skin. It could look like anything but it is very, very friendly and very, very appealing. 
and it comes towards you and you feel very comfortable and this being says, come on, let's go. And off you go and you're going to investigate and look around your amazing building. So in you go and you both start to investigate, explore and you might have slides and waterfalls and swimming pools inside this building or you might have a library or a studio, there might be amazing paintings there may be incredible furniture. There could be a garden inside. Anything and everything could be there or it could be completely empty. It could be silver, it could be gold, there could be jewels, there could be crystals. This is the most amazing place. And you travel around it together, laughing. And you realize that whatever you think manifests straight away. So if you think, oh, this room is gonna be a red room and everything in it's gonna be red, you notice straight away it's there. It's just as, and then you think, oh no, actually I don't like that. I'm gonna change it. There you've changed it, you've done it. And your friend, your being, is there supporting you, laughing with you. You feel like it's your best friend. You could tell them anything. And then at some point they take you by the hand. They say, come on, I've got something I want to show you. And you find there's a little doorway in your building and you start to open the little doorway and this doorway leads up. It's like a tower. It's a very narrow staircase and your friend bounds up ahead of you. And when you get to the top, you realize that you're in a, a quite a small room, but it's round. And it's like a turret and you can see there are windows all around and you look out the windows and you see this beautiful sky around you. You can't see anything below you. You can't see any land. You can just see a sky and the sky is completely clear, completely clear, completely clear. And then your friend nudges you and points and you see a cloud, just a lone cloud. And you realise as you look at the cloud that that's really like a thought. And that the clear sky is your consciousness, your natural state, completely clear and clean. And this cloud is just a thought. And then you look and you see there's a darker, heavier cloud. And you realise, ah, okay, so that's what it's like when I have a dark thought or I feel anxious. Or, ah, okay. But behind it, you've got a pristine sky. And you see a little white, fluffy, fluffy cloud and you realise, well, that's a, just a passing observation or a passing thought. You realise that that clear sky is always there, whereas those clouds just pass through. And you realise that to identify with the clear sky, 
means that you can see those clouds and those thoughts, but you don't have to be embroiled in them, that you can just watch them, observe them, and they will pass, they will go, they will move. And they, they never stay the same, the clouds are changing, shifting the whole time. And then your friend lightly taps you on the shoulder and you pull yourself away from those reflections. And your friend points down onto the floor and on the floor you see a beautiful flower. It's a beautiful flower and the scent of the flower is very, very strong very very heady and you pick up the flower and you smell the flower because it's so good and then you realize that behind the flower underneath the flower there's something written on the floor and you look down and you read the message You reflect on that for a moment before you hear the giggles of your friend and your friend starts to run back down the tower so you follow and then you're back down outside your building and your friend says I have to go now but Remember, remember, you can create anything, anything, and it can be beautiful, and it can be magical, and you have such power within you, and you are not your thoughts, and you are not your emotions. Remember the clear sky, you are the clear sky, and you are consciousness, and you can paint like a canvas, you can paint your creativity and you can paint your emotions and you can paint your thoughts, but you are consciousness, truth. And with a light laugh and a hug, your friend scampers away. And then you become aware of the sounds and that sound that draws your attention and you travel back on that sound you land back in your body Become aware of the rising and falling breath again. And then you just bring up your hands and start to allow the healing light to flow through the body from the crown into the heart, along the arms, out of the palms, seeing the world in front of you. Gaia herself, the Mother Earth, and sending light and love to that Earth, allowing her to integrate all the darkness and shadow with the light, allowing all the pain she has suffered to drop away, to be healed, as she becomes brighter and lighter, more vivid, more energy 
and all the animals and all the people, those that hop, those that crawl, those who fly, those who swim, those who speak, the mountains, the rivers, the seas, the rocks, the sands, the deserts, the continents, the hops, the coals, the organic, the inorganic, allowing love, light and healing equally to the good, to the bad, to this planet of choice, the planet of polarity, sending love, sending light. And then bringing the hands into the heart center. Grounding down through the sitting bones, through roots down into the ground. Om Shanti 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 Peace Peace Namaste. Well done, everybody.